Hello, my name is Monique Cooper. And my name is Tanaya Peacock. And, and we'll, we'll be telling you about the Jump Towers. Well, it all began as an amusement park ride at the 1939 Welfare in New York City. How cool is that? Leo Shoot saw value as in them as a platform for pet troopers to train. After talking to the U.S. government, they ended up buying them when they established them to Georgia. They also added additional height to the jump towers. Each of the each of the towers stand exactly 250, 500 feet and six inches high, tip to tip of their large arms. Now, two of the towers are used to train paratroopers. The third tower is not used and still stands as it would at the at the 1939 Wells Fair in New York City. And Hi, my name is Arlene Turk and, and my name is Raven Simmons. We are going to talk to you about the jump towers which are located on Fort Benning. The jump towers are in the state of Georgia and the city of Columbus. Two of the towers are used to train paratroopers. They use that instead of jumping out of an airplane that is 1,200 feet from the ground. The third is unused and stands still as it was in the 1939 World's Fair. Aside from the calculator dog monument, another interesting area to visit are the jump towers and the airborne training area near the infantry museum located in Building 4. The jump towers were also featured on the Dean Martin Show in 1932. Hello, my name is Ashari Allen and I will be telling you about the jump tower history. Several versions of the of Strong's original jump tower design were erected on James Private East State in New Jersey in 1936 through 1937, where they aroused a great deal of of interest in the local residents uh, who often request rides. In response, he created a public jumps in in 1937 with the interest in his public jump tower running strong. His company made an existing 200 feet tall observation tower in Chicago into a six-shoe amusement jump ride.